Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Keith Brown and this is how to get into FPV on a budget. Um, that's pretty much what my videos are about. If you see me tinkering around, I'm trying to get um, into uh, first person flight. Uh, right now I'm in the stages of testing a camera system that I made over the last few weeks and uh, putting it on a, a, a stable airplane platform. Hi Sky. FS TH 9X flight system. So uh, that is a nine channel radio for under a hundred dollars, including shipping. So I thought that was amazing. So I purchased one. Considering I have to send my uh, DX6i back to the manufacturer because I lost elevator control. You can't really fly an airplane without elevator control. So what do we have here? If you look back to my previous videos, you'll see that I got this um, six degrees of freedom uh, chip. Um, it also includes magnetometers, so it can uh, read uh, orientation. Uh, that will help me with my shaking the head no position. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about first person video looking left and looking right. That is the most challenging part of building your own first person video system on a budget. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this chip. It's powered by 5 volts. Coincidentally, so are my goggles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the goggles power source, power my chip after I program it with the pre-programmed uh, program that I um, programmed into my uh, microcontroller here. I'm going to set it, I can't do this through the video, set it on here, do my connections, program it up, take it off, put it on a piece of foam, stick it on the goggles, power it by the goggles, take uh, five or six of the leads, make a pretty long wire that goes back to the transmitter in the trainer port and I will be able to control the camera on the airplane through the transmitter using my accelerometer gyro magnetometer setup. So basically I'll be able to look up, look down, look left, excuse me, look right, <laughs> look left, and uh, be able to uh, control the camera that way. More to come on that, so I encourage you to comment and subscribe. Um, this has been almost a year-long process for me. And like I said, I'm building an FPV setup on a budget. I do not have the money to buy one outright. So, I thought, let me make one myself. It's become a, quite a challenge, and I am days away from my first flight. Subscribe, and I'll see you soon.